back to Odom's own set down here in Growing Zone, 7B, Tennessee. Today, I took the okra and the melons that was here, turmeric out. Now, yeah, I actually got a little piece of turmeric that was sitting on top of the ground. It was trying to re-sprout. So, yeah, we got our first little piece of uh, turmeric. Ain't that amazing? Because we got a not that many little small okra. It's enough to go in that jar that I got the last, last one I wanted to finish. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put some manure down over here. I have to use this type of hoe, uh, hoe around my areas because you know I got Bermuda grass here. So I try to chop around the area, the outline area with this to try to keep the Bermuda grass at bay just a little bit. It's not, it's not gonna last long, but just for a little while. And I'll, I'll chop, chop up any humps of Bermuda grass that I see that's actually growing inside my growing area that I want to grow stuff at. Let me see. Hey, this is the area where the okra was and the melons, some of the melons and tumor. I got it. Them stumps just left on that okra them in the ground let them uh, break down and I've chopped it up with my hoe I'm not going to remove the Bermuda grass it'll, it'll still just be there it, it might even regrow back but hey that's one thing you do when you're growing in ground but now I'm going to add some manure here and then I'm going to cover it with uh, some leaves some shredded leaves I'm just going to break it up a little bit, kind of clump over, work it around in the area. Not really working it into the soil, really on top of the soil, but just spreading it more like. Just like that, and then I'm gonna get some uh, shredded leaves and throw down over here. And I'm gonna add these shredded leaves. Not too many left, so I don't have to get some more worked up. And I'll add more over here. I'm just going to cover that soil and that fresh compost with uh, manure until uh, I actually get some planted in the ground here.
ready to leave. I got for a minute. I got to get to work and make it some more. It's sure enough, a lot done fell already. Yeah, I got that little. to get established before fall get here. Seems like it's very root bank. There you go, nice root smell of bony. Fig and give me a nice amount of figs every year. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Prepping still, planting stuff, getting stuff out of containers, getting it in the ground, seeing what I'm changing and what I'm going to leave the same. Putting a new grape trellis up, just waiting until the leaves die on them grapes so I can finish it. And Pull the vines forward, get the lines nice and straight, and get ready for next year to grow. As you know, I cut my grapes back a lot, lot, every year. I cut them back a lot. Because you're supposed to prune your grapes. is very, very important for your grape vines to produce and be healthy and natural. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm out here doing a little work. Planning for a better tomorrow, a better spring. Y'all stay blessed.